Good morning, friends. For those of you that are stopping by for the first time, welcome, I'm Christine. In today's video, I will be sharing with you what I pack my 11 and 12 year old boys for their school lunches. Today is Monday and the boys are taking some raisin bread French toast. I made this with some thick cut raisin bread and then I dipped them in an egg custard and then fried them up just like you would a regular French toast. They're also having some acorn squash. I baked this with some coconut oil and some cinnamon. They will also be taking some cantaloupe with some red grapes, some yogurt. Sander has a lemon flavored yogurt. And these are eggnog truffle cookies. They are the celebration eggnog truffles. These are some of my favorite cookies. They come in uh, caramel flavor, raspberry, chocolate, and mint. And this one is the eggnog and they are delicious. And they also have some maple syrup to go along with their French toast. And of course I packed them some cutlery for the squash and the yogurt. Okay, and over here, Merrick is having the exact same thing. He has the French toast, the squash, the grapes, cantaloupe. His uh, yogurt flavor is the creme caramel, and he has the same cookies and maple syrup in his lunch as well. In their bottles, as always, is water. All right, guys, I will check in with you after school to show you how they did. Good morning, it is Tuesday. Today, the boys will be taking paninis for lunch. We'll start over here with Xander. Sander is having a ham and cheese panini with some mayo and mustard. He is also taking a mix of cucumber and grape tomatoes. He also has some cantaloupe, a couple of dill pickles, a mandarin orange, and for his sweet treat today, he is taking some holiday themed Hershey's Kisses. These are the Grinch, how the Grinch stole Christmas themed kisses and these ones are the sugar cookie flavor. I have to show you the Grinch ones because they are super cute. This is the Grinch himself and on the bottom is his face and then we have Max. So on, it is a Christmas tree and then on the bottom is Max. Isn't that cute? Let's see what Merrick is taking. He has a cheddar, apple, and bacon panini. This is turkey bacon because that's all we have in the house right now. He's also taking a mix of cucumbers and carrots. He has some passion fruit. I did put some honey in that small container over there so he can drizzle some over top. He is also taking some dill pickles, the mandarin, and he has the same holiday themed Hershey's Kisses. In their bottles is water. All right, guys, um, I do want to let you know that Merrick did eat his uh, fruit from yesterday's lunch as an after-school snack, and the acorn squash did not go over very well. In fact, Merrick said it triggered his gag reflexes. So needless to say, I will not be packing that in their lunch again. All right, guys, that is what they are taking for lunch today. I will check in with you after school to show you how they did. All right, guys, the boys are home from school, so let's take a look in their lunch boxes. We'll start over here with Xander. Okay, so Xander did not eat all of his cantaloupe. He didn't eat any of his mandarin. He did eat all of his Hershey's Kisses and his dill pickle. Let's see how he did with his panini. He ate all of his panini and his uh, tomatoes, but left behind the cucumbers. All right, let's move over to Merrick. Merrick did say he did not have a whole lot of time today to eat. So we'll see how he did. He did not eat his mandarins or his passion fruit, nor did he eat all of his Hershey's Kisses. But he did eat his dill pickle and his panini, but left behind his veggies. He did mention that he really enjoyed his panini. He mentioned that more than once. So this is something that I will definitely make for him again. And um, he has his honey here. So I'm going to offer 
their fruit to them for an after school snack and if they choose not to eat it then I'm just going to throw it into tomorrow's lunch. Let's see how they did for their water. This is empty so Merrick drank all of his water and so did Xander. All right my friends that is going to do it for today. I will see you tomorrow morning. Good morning friends, it is Wednesday. The boys will be taking a hot lunch to school with them today, which is good seeing that it is currently minus 11 outside, so it is cold today. So Merrick is taking one of these chicken flavored Mr. Noodles. This is an instant ramen. In his thermos, he has some boiled water, so all he has to do is just add that to the cup, wait about three minutes, and then he is good to go. He's also taking his passion fruit from yesterday's lunch with along with the honey. He's also taking some sliced cucumbers and strawberries. For his sweet treat today, he has one of the snack pack chocolate pudding cups. Over here, Xander is having one of his favorites. He is having these Olivieri skillet gnocchi. This is his favorite and he has it every single week. He also has these sliced strawberries. His veggies are a mix of cucumbers and cherry tomatoes or rather grape tomatoes. He has some green grapes and he also has the chocolate flavored pudding cup. In their bottles, they have water. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today. I will check in with you after school to show you how they did. All right, guys, the kiddos are home from school, so let's take a peek inside their lunch bags and see how they did. We'll start over here with Xander. Let's take a look inside his thermos. So he ate all of his gnocchi. He did not eat his strawberries, but I will offer them to him right after I'm done filming. He didn't eat his cucumbers, so I will include that with their dinner tonight. And he ate his grapes as well as his chocolate pudding. Okay, let's move over here to Merrick. Merrick did not eat all of his strawberries or his cucumbers. He did eat his passion fruit and his chocolate pudding as well. Um, Merrick did say that the uh, ramen cup was great. It worked out perfect with the boiling water in the thermos. So I will definitely have to do that for him again. Let's see how their water was today. That is full. And this one is about half full. So there you have it, friends. That is going to do it for today. I will see you tomorrow morning. Bye. Good morning, friends. It is Thursday. Let's see what the boys are having for lunch today. We'll start with Xander. Over here, we have some crackers, cheddar, and ham. So it's like a homemade Lunchables. I thought this would be fun for them to have today. They're also taking a mix of raspberries and blueberries. Xander has his cucumbers from yesterday's lunch, and I just added some baby carrots. He is also having a banana, and for his sweet treat today, he has these rolled gold classic dipped chocolate pretzels. So it's just this right here. Let's move over to Merrick. Merrick is having the same thing, but he has some pepperoni instead of ham. That's his meat of choice. Um, he is also taking a mix of cucumbers and carrots and also the raspberries and blueberries, a banana, and the ro rolled gold. I keep wanting to say rose gold, but rolled gold pretzels. In their bottles, they have water. So that is what they're having for lunch today. I will check in with you after school to show you how they did. All right, guys, the boys are home from school, so let's take a look into their lunch bags. We'll start with Merrick. So Merrick ate all of his chocolate covered pretzels. Uh, didn't finish his berries or his veggies. He did, however, eat his banana and it, he ate all of his lunch. So all of the crackers, cheese, and pepperoni. Okay, so let's move over here to Xander. So he did not eat all of his berries or his veggies or his banana. 
He did, however, eat his chocolate-covered pretzels. Let's see how he did here. And he actually left quite a bit behind for his uh, main entree. He's got quite a few crackers, ham, and cheese left. So really, all in all, Xander did not eat as much as he normally does. It was animal day at school today. They got to dress up in, you know, an animal-themed onesie. And uh, so maybe he just got carried away and uh, didn't have time to eat everything. All right, let's see how they did for their water. As you can see, Xander did not drink that much. There's still, you know, more than half of his water left. And Merrick's is almost empty. So that is going to do it for today. I will see all of you tomorrow morning. Good morning, friends. It is Friday. Today, Merrick is having special lunch at school, so he will be having Subway. The only thing I really had to pack for him today were his fruits and veggies and a treat. Let's see what he's having. So he has some red grapes, his veggies from yesterday, and some sliced strawberries. He will also be taking a bag of Doritos. In their thermos today, the boys will be taking some hot chocolate. So I have this ruby hot chocolate. So it is pink and it has some uh, ruby chocolate chunks in there. So that should be fun for them to have. Let's move over here to Xander and see what he's taking today. He has one of his favorites, which is cheese pizza. And the only thing he likes dipping his pizza in more than ketchup would be the Little Caesars Ranch dip. He is also taking a bag of popcorn twists, some red grapes, the sliced strawberries, and his veggies from yesterday's lunch. I just added some uh, grape tomatoes on top there. And he also has the um, ruby hot chocolate in his thermos too. I did pack those coffee cups in there for them. You know, if they don't want to drink the hot chocolate from directly from the thermos, um, these might be a little easier to drink from. All right, guys, so that is the last lunch of the week. I will check in with you guys afterwards to show you how they did. Hey, guys, the boys are home from school, so let's take a look in their lunch bags and see how they did today. We'll start with Xander. So Xander did not eat his strawberries or his carrots. But uh, it looks like he ate his cucumbers and his tomatoes, and he also ate his grapes. I don't see his uh, popcorn bag of popcorn twists in here, so he ate those, and he also ate his pizza. He did tell me that he forgot that he had the hot chocolate in his lunch, so he did not drink it. But um, it's still warm, so I'm going to offer it to him now and along with the uh, strawberries for an after school snack. Let's move over to Merrick and see how he did. So he did not eat his veggies or any of his fruit, but um, they will get eaten over the weekend, so I'm not too concerned about it. And he did eat, um, eat. he drank his uh, hot chocolate. Let's see how they did for water. That one is empty and Xander's is full. So there you have it guys, that is going to do it for this week. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider joining the family by subscribing. Thank you all so very much for watching. To all of my American friends, I want to wish you guys a very happy Thanksgiving. Have a great weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye.